if you weren't already aware, Zontes Motorcycles is a brand that has been brought to India by Adeshwar Auto Ride India. And if you don't know who they are, well, they are the same guys who have brought in Benelli and Kiwi into the country. But like another brand, Moto Morini, this one Zontes falls under the Moto Vault umbrella. Now, Zontes currently has five variations of the 350cc motorcycle currently out here in the country, and we've already had a go at the adventure variant of this motorcycle. But here we have the 350R, the street. A naked motorcycle and I'm here to tell you what this bike is all about. The Zontes 350R shares most of its underpinnings with the other 350cc motorcycles from Zontes, including the 350T ADV, the adventure bike which we recently reviewed. Now this bike is priced at around 3,15,000 rupees ex showroom India and its main competition comes in the form of the KTM 390 Duke and the BMW G310R. Now, should you consider this Chinese offering over the more established European rivals? Time to find out. Let's start off with the way this bike looks. Now, like the other bikes in the Zontes 350cc range, the 350R looks very radical. There isn't one flat panel across the bike and it looks really sporty with the sharp radiator shrouds, the contoured tank and those deep knee recesses. Its forward lunging stance is accentuated by the mean looking LED brows on its headlamp unit. And the broad tail section has to be one of the biggest we've seen on a motorcycle in this category. And the tail lights and those twin pipes look really neat as well. But there are some odd bits to the bike as well, like the exhaust manifold that sits lower than the bikini fairing. And also those fancy diamond cut 17 inch alloy wheels are a bit of an overkill for me. Now the main USB of these Zontes bikes has to be the electronic features they all comprise. The 350R comes complete with keyless operation, dual channel ABS, a TPMS and you also get a 5 inch full color anti-glare LCD unit with screen mirroring function that is very useful when it comes to navigation. There are also different screen layouts which all, all give off this very arcade video game vibe to it and you even get buttons that release the fuel filler lid and release the seat lock. Features that even more expensive bikes don't get. But then you have to think, are these features really beneficial? Also, some plastic bits on this bike, like the fuel filler lid, felt really flimsy too. The Zontes 350R definitely has looks going in its favour. And as far as its electronics features go, first in its class features and a definite USB of this machine. But for me, man, it has to be this single cylinder 348cc engine. The 350R is powered by the same 348cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder motor as the other 350cc Zontes bikes. The output too stands at 38 PS and 32.8 Nm of torque, which is about the same as the other bikes as well, as is the 6-speed gearbox, albeit with slightly altered gear ratios. The motor just loves to be revved and there's plenty of power all across the rev range. Twist of the throttle feel very rewarding and the exhaust note, which sounds a tad KTM-ish to me, is nice. And the bike doesn't feel out of its element above 6000 RPM. You'll really have a heap of fun revving this bike all the way to the red line. If you don't feel like riding hard, well, the engine proves quite tractable as well, allowing you to cruise perfectly at low speeds in high gears. The engine encourages you to go fast whenever you can, but the sad part is, once you're actually up there at high speed, things do feel a bit unnerving. So I love the performance of this engine. It really just eggs you on to rev hard. It loves to be revved. But once you start to ride aggressively, well, there are certain aspects of this motorcycle that don't come together all that well. And that's more to do with the ride and handling dynamics of it all. The front end of the Zontes gives you a decent amount of feedback, but the weight of the bike overall feels a tad off leaning into a corner especially if you've topped up the 15-litre tank full of gas. You'll have to spend some time to get used to riding the bike before chucking it into a corner at pace. But a nice feature that I noticed was that the mirrors don't vibrate like crazy once you reach higher speeds, and you can clearly see everything behind you. The 43mm upside-down fork is stiffly set up, and it works well to absorb bumps at all speeds, but the preload adjustable monoshock at the rear is set up a bit too soft for my liking. Strangely, with a pillion aboard, the bike can tend to bottom out over speed breakers a bit too easily. The 320mm front disc 
and the 265mm rotor at the rear perform well. But over loose surfaces, I found the ABS configuration to behave rather inconsistently. Which can be quite scary if you're carrying speed and have to brake hard over undulated surfaces. Now you'll have to shell out 3,20,000 rupees to own the Zontes 350R. And should you be willing to part with that kind of money for this machine? According to me, no, not really. And why so? Well, first of all, yes, the Zontes 350R does have a lot going for it in terms of design. Well, the way it looks, spectacular. The electronic suit or the, the features rather, first in class features really unmatched out there. The engine, a real highlight for me personally. But then again, when you consider factors like the, the build quality, the plastics that are used into this machine, well, not on par with a, a machine that cost you around 3 lakh. And then when you consider the fact that the BMW G3 R and the KTM 390 Duke, which are this uh, machine's competition, they are more affordable than this machine. They excel in parts like the ride and handling and the whole dynamics, the riding dynamics of it all. So I'm sorry Zontes, the 350R doesn't really cut it for me. Mm.